Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well. And um, yeah, we're taking another break from the Tyne Dock station build. But in the background I am working on the canopy still. I'm still painting all those um, supports. Uh, so there will be a video coming up shortly. Uh, where we shall return to the time dock build. So for the moment um, I'm doing a series of little mini builds. Now you've already had one regarding Minchella's um, ice cream kiosk and now we're going to be looking at building uh, a brolly. A brolly for the trolley just like the video title says. And uh, the last time we made a brolly was for Mrs. Arkwright down there talking to the station master, Mr. Brimmer. Now, for those of you who remember me making the brollies, um, she lost hers and uh, it was never found. So it is one of those hidden secrets at the social station. So, what's it all about? Let me show you. So here we are, we're back at the bench. And um, so let's ask Luigi, what was that hole for? Luigi, what was that hole for? Why, you know, the Tony, I had to diss a trolley since uh, I was a man and boy, and uh, someone has uh, pinched uh, my brolly. Brolly? Yes, my brolly. Oh. So, what happens when it rains? The ice are creamy, gassy, very wet, and it spills all over the place. Oh, okay, so, would you like me to make you a brolly for your trolley? Well, yeah, that just sounds a good idea, dear. Okay, so, looks like I'm going to make a brolly for the trolley. These welding rods come in handy for all sorts. Um, so what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to use this for the pole for the brolly. So, the size of the brolly, well, I have not got a Scooby-Doo, so I'm just going to make this up as I go along. So I, I reckon to cover the whole of the cart as it were it's got to be at least I would say if I measure from the centre of that hole to the outside of the trolley that works out at 11 mil so the diameter needs to be 22 millimeters uh, when the brolly is fully uh, open I would say and uh, so the best thing to do here is we need a piece of paper we need to draw a 22 mil um, diameter and then fold it into eight or six um, segments so let's just see how I get on so I'm taking some measurements of the height of Luigi here and from the floor to the top of his hat is roughly 27 millimeters so if I take that distance off of the trolley which is the trolley is 12 millimeters off the floor. So 12 and 27, so that's 15 millimeters above the cart here. So I'll just quickly draw that. So we've got the circumference of the brolly comes down to the circle. That's on the trolley, so from there to the underside of the brolly is 15 millimeters. 
so we can go a little bit higher to allow for the, um, the top of the shaft like that so the overall height from the top as well say give that another five millimeters so that would be overall height will be about 21 to 20 millimeters yeah I think that will work a penny washer has come to the rescue all right it's a little bit bigger than 22 mil it's actually 24 millimeters but when you put it over the top of the cart and if you line up the hole with the hole in the cart it just about covers all the cart and possibly Luigi if he was standing underneath the the brolly so I have drawn around the washer now I need to find its center so it's 24 mil it's going to be about 12 mil to the center so I'll just mark that and then we shall draw a line but really draw it hard on to the center then we'll do the same this way until we get all of the segments that we want just move that uh, there and then we do the same again and so on until we get our eight or six segments I think I'll go for eight I've scribed quite hard with the, with the pen so what I'm doing now I'm just going to cover it in super glue and then once the super glue has gone off I will then fold it on those lines if the ink runs just want to make sure that we can still see the lines and also that the super glue is going to penetrate the paper don't take long for the super glue to dry on paper So we shall let this dry. If you're doing this, make sure you've got a window open. Right, so we shall leave that to dry. And once it's dry, we shall fold it. So now we can fold this piece of paper up into the eight segments. Now it's going to be quite tough. You'd be surprised how tough this is making sure that you line up all the lines and they're all nice and square at the right angles and then you've got to fold that one back on itself like so Now we can cut off the paper that we don't want. Now we can open up. Hopefully it hasn't all stuck together. There we go. So that's opened up quite nicely. It's already got a sunshade come brolly look about it. So where the folds have gone one way, you need to press home so it goes the other way. Right, so we've got our uh, 0.8 welding rod. As you can see, I've already marked it. Now I've marked that at 
20 millimeters. So what I'll do, I shall pierce the brolly right in the center. Just give that a little bit of a twist to go through. And then put that at the line. And what we'll do before we actually glue anything, we'll just do a, a test. Put that in there and then put Luigi underneath. Yeah, it's well above his head at that height. Right, so what we'll do, we'll just super glue that in place and then we can paint this brolly. Up. So I'm just putting a little bit of super glue either side of the pen mark. Notice how I've left it long so we can do things like paint and add little details to it so it gives that little chance for it to dry um, looking at it it's a, a little bit big to call a brolly I think we'll call it a parasol I think All right, yes, I'm just waiting for that to get a hold I think it's got a hold So that's ready for painting. One last thing we need to do before we paint uh, is to get that semicircle between each of the lines like we have here. See that? See the little... So what, we, what I did was is I've pushed, grabbed the two lines there and then just pushed them together to create that semi half circle there. And then just do that all the way along that edge because it's quite stiff this piece of paper it just kind of forms it itself Did you can see that so I think I've gone all the way around yep so I'm back to where I started and if you look if I do that you can actually see so there's no need to put any support rods or anything underneath because we've already got the the drop between each of the spans as it were yeah that shows it even better I've been thinking it's only appropriate that I paint this parasol in the Italian colours uh, their national colours which is red, white and green so that's what I'm doing here um, and also I've been doing a little bit of um, history research on the Minchalas family and um, uh, Giuseppe Minchala um, used to serve ice creams outside of Bolden Colliery for the miners uh, until um, he took over the parlour in Ocean Road and uh, yes and there were three brothers there was Luigi, Tony and Freddy um, so and today the family tradition still goes on in South Shields so that's just a, a little bit of history in the Minchella family so I go back quite some way in the town of South Shields yeah I find this a uh, very therapeutic painting so now we're just adding the red to finish off this parasol. So I've mixed a little bit of clear gloss with some matte red just to get the satin finish I'm after. So 
So we have Luigi here, and I think we shall call the operative in the kiosk Tony, I think. So we just need one more. Then we got the full three brothers. Yeah, that's starting to take shape now. I really like the look of that. I've just got to do the same here. Yeah, it makes a change just to to chill out and do a little tiny detail job like this. Although it's only a small and simple thing, but it will add a little bit of character to the layout. Now, I've had quite a few comments about the kiosk. Um, especially regarding the ice cream that's on the top of the kiosk. Um, it was quite possible at an early stage I could have put an LED if I'd thought about it, but uh, in the ice cream itself, so I have a flash and ice cream, so that would have been cool. So thank you for the that idea. That might still happen because that ice cream's only glued on, so it wouldn't take much to knock it off and uh, make up a new ice cream but uh, these ideas are always great at the time but um, if I had a thought of them but I didn't so yeah thanks for the idea and the other comment I had was that that kiosk is covering up the windows, which uh, yeah, it's right. It's you're right. You're right. It is covering up the windows, and we can't. And it's a shame, but we could put Luigi there instead, and put the kiosk somewhere else on the layout. So it's not set in stone yet. Yeah, quite like the look of that so we'll wait for that paint to dry and then we've just got to paint the the shaft here on the on the parasol and then we can glue it onto the um, cart and I think it'll look quite good there the video started out making an umbrella for this little tiny trolley and uh, we've ended up making a parasol and as you can see I think the parasol being the size that it is works a lot better than a small uh, umbrella so yeah so we're just waiting for this paint to dry and it's such a little dinky cart as it were <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's these little things, these little details that make all the difference. And you can still buy Luigi and his card on eBay. For those of you who are wondering what's happening with Tyne Dog Station, well, I've only just finished painting the white on these 30 supports. Um, all I've got to do now is just paint the cornice piece on the bottom of these supports. Um, but uh, that we can do at our ledger. So that's where we are regarding the Tyne, Tyne Dog Station because it, it, it took ages to paint these supports. And uh, the next video we'll have, we'll see... Um, me starting back on the station because uh, hence why we've had two in between videos and that normally happens when I do a big build otherwise you'll just end up seeing me painting canopy supports week after week until they're finished so it's nice to um, take a little break away from the time dock station so that's just a, a little update regarding where we are with the Tyne Dock Station. 
as you can see, it's getting a bit crowded down there um, with the uh, Minchella cart and the Minchella's kiosk. Uh, let me know in the comments what would you prefer to see to stay there permanently. I know what I think, but uh, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, in the comments. So, here we are again. Come to another end of another video. Until next time everybody, stay safe and thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>